Morning. Evans? Danny. Is that the last donut with red, white, and blue sprinkles? What did I tell you would happen if you ate the last donut with red, white, and blue sprinkles? A little foggy on it, but I think it was something like raining down hellfire. That's right. And here I am without an umbrella. I feel a storm brewing. You just started a war. What's going on everybody? This is Lee Kirby Dicko Comics here and in this video I'll be showing you guys my comic book pickups number 68. But before I get into showing you guys the books I picked up, i got to show you some collection I rebagged and boarded and got put in order. I uh, did my Marvel premieres with the Iron Fist featuring Iron Fist. Here's number 15. Number 16. These are all beautiful, awesome covers. 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and I think I only put 25 in this, to up to 25, there's uh, number 25. Uh, absolutely love those with the Iron Fist. I definitely plan on doing, um, Showing you guys the next title I do, which will be the actual Iron Fist um, title and run. There's just the two uh, main ones right there, number one and 14. Uh, but I also did the ones, uh, let's see here, obviously the ones um, leading up to the first appearance of Iron Fist are still really cool. Um, with Doctor Strange, there's uh, Marvel premiere number three. Uh, the first Doctor Strange in that uh, Marvel premiere title. Uh, then um, number one, of course, is Power of Warlock. Another nice, hard to find in nice shape black covers. Uh, those are both uh, beautiful. But I also did a couple other titles that I want to show you guys. I did my Marvel Spotlights with Ghost Rider. So there's number five. First Ghost Rider, it's number six. Really like the blue on this on this cover. Number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, and number eleven. Because I believe at issue number twelve is when. Son of Satan came in, which I'll show you those in a separate video, but here's just uh, a few. Really like that cover. With John Romita artwork, there's number 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 is the last one I'll show you guys. Uh, but I obviously, after. Uh, Marvel Spotlights with Ghost Rider. It leads into some Satan and after that. It's got a really cool Moon Knight issue, number 28. Moon Knight's first solo. And 29 to go along with that. And of course, just a couple issues later is the first Spider-Woman in issue number 32. Uh, but I forgot in uh, the earliest Marvel Spotlights, number one, I believe, is... Red Wolf, but my favorite is Marvel Spotlights 2, 3, and number 4, because those all feature the first um, first appearances of the Werewolf by Night, so there's 2, 3, and 4, and I actually love that book so much, I have a graded copy of number 2, the first Origin and first appearance of Werewolf by Night. This one's an old label graded 9.0. It's a gorgeous copy. Also did some 
uh, along with that with the uh, Marvel I believe it's Marvel premieres uh, with Doctor Strange I will definitely show you guys a Doctor Strange video later on of uh, the Doctor Strange run absolutely love those um, Bronner covers and uh, also with the spotlights I'll definitely be showing you guys some Ghost Rider collection videos in the near future um, so yeah look forward to that uh, but let's see here also for the premieres uh, after the Iron Fist issues forgot to show 28 which is the first Legion of Monsters it's definitely one of my favorite uh, covers of all time it's on my uh, I have another copy on my comic wall and uh, just a few issues later number 47 is the um, first Scott Lang Ant-Man um, first new Ant-Man um, also did some Power of Warlock since I did sh just show you guys uh, where is it the Marvel premiere number one featuring the power of warlock I actually did do just the first five or so uh, power of warlocks I got here so there's number six number five number four number three number two these are beautiful Gil Kane covers and number one which is a great cover so yeah, those were some of the books I want to show you guys before I get into the pickups. I uh, had some great, great collection. And this Ghost Rider, once I show you guys the Ghost Rider collection, you guys will know that the Ghost Rider has some of the coolest covers. Uh, this being definitely my favorite one uh, with Ghost Rider in the water with a uh, shark. That is just awesome. I love the greens on this cover. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. All right, so getting into the books I picked up, uh, it is a big DC Silver Age key it is flash number 106 which is the first appearance of Gorilla Grodd um, and this fool but mainly Gorilla Grodd why everyone wants this book uh, I mean flash did start back in flash 105 so that is a key issue in itself so this is still very early flash um, in the Silver Age but this is first appearance of Gorilla Grodd which if you guys watch the uh, flash show on CW that those uh, those episodes with Gorilla Grodd were just phenomenal I loved those action scenes I loved the fight scenes I'll insert some clips right here so you can see how awesome Gorilla Grodd is So yeah, I'm really happy to pick this book up. This is a beautiful copy. I actually think it's really cool. The pinks on this cover. Uh, I really like that. I really like the um, artwork on the inside. Gorilla Grodd is definitely um, more menacing in the uh, show. Uh, but great key nonetheless. Great uh, Flash villain in his rogue gallery.
All right, and getting into my next pickup is a graded book. It is Batman number 40. And it is a beautiful copy. I don't want don't want to show you guys the gray. I want you guys to guess the gray in the comment section, but as you can see it has beautiful off-white to white pages. Uh, it is a Joker cover and story as you can see. Uh, it is a um, 1947 book. Came out in 1947, so really nice book. So I'm actually going to get into cracking this book out. So yeah, anyways guys, those were my main two books I picked up this week. Really happy with both of them. Some great DC love. Uh, going from Silver Age and Golden Age, getting Gorilla Grodd and a great Joker cover. So yeah, really happy with both of them. So yeah guys, that's actually going to put an end to this pickups video. Make sure to hit that like button down below if you enjoyed watching. Comment your thoughts down below. Which one of these books is your favorite? Would you rather have The Flash or The Batman? Let me know down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see all my future comic book videos. And yeah, that's going to be all, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.
That's all, folks.